just got to work and this morning after I uploaded the vlog it was like oh crap <laughs> because I remembered and I don't know why I didn't remember at the time the whole EVP it was um, it was my ringtone Lori Lee was in a different part of the store and she called me and that's the ringtone that I have so yeah, quite embarrassed right now and is like, oh shoot, should I pull the vlog? Should I not put it up? It's like, you know, something screwed. I'm just going to put it up anyway. But it was kind of freaky, especially since I didn't realize it until this morning. So there you go. Not a real EVP. There was, um, yeah, it. I figured it out. Phoenix, are you bouncing? Are you bouncing? Do it. I do it. I bouncy, 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 bounce. Keep going. Keep going. I bouncy, 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 bounce. Good afternoon, ladies and girls. This is what they refer to as liquid sunshine. Okay. This is what's going on. Pouring rain. And sunshine. Rain. Sunshine. Sunshine. Black clouds. Those of you who are from the Pacific Northwest might know the term very well. Anyway, guys, off work. Happy. Got a lot of stuff to do today. Um, not sure how much uh, I'm going to share with you guys, but it will definitely be an interesting day. I hope. I have my fingers crossed. I cross my toes too, but I kind of need them for driving. If you guys have ever been asked to sit down and write like a class description, a description of, of a class that you might be giving, or a bio on yourself and somebody else, it, it's quite a daunting task. It, it's more involved than what you may think. And quite honestly, it, it's difficult for me. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I need to get it done tonight. And I've got like two lines. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know what to say. So good morning guys. Ha oh, just kidding. It's actually afternoon. I let you guys, I, I, I fast forwarded through work so you guys didn't have to deal with it. Wasn't that nice of me? It's after work now, so I'm like, well, I'm not home anymore, but I'm still happy. Uh, away from home. Alrighty, and apparently letting wood go all over the back of the truck. But I am on the way to Lowe's so that I can turn in like the project overrun and get some of that green back. Not green backs. No, oh, that's where they get that name, green back. This will be the first time that I've ever returned building materials. Never done that before. So in answer to the question, yes, you can return building materials. I mean, I knew that you could. I just, for some reason, I had this thought in the back of my head that they're gonna say, oh, I'm sorry, you can't return wood. Nobody wants your used wood. You guys have to admit, wood jokes are always funny. Just like farts, always funny. How do you feel right now? You're upside down. Are you okay with that fact? So hey guys. Okay, hey guys. Um, yeah. So we're. Are you decent? Are you decent? <laughs> Am I ever? Um. Let me get back to you on that. Yes, of course. Of course she is. Um. Yeah. If if I were to film like half the stuff that I do when I'm not having the camera on, that was in English, but you guys understand what I was saying. Am saying whatever. Anyway, that's what I was going to say. Is if I filmed half the stuff like when the camera's not like on me of me just being like goofy and funny and stuff, then the vlog would be a lot more entertaining and you guys would have a totally different opinion about me. I totally. I just got through telling her that I like went to look for this job the other day, right? Go, 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 go. Oh, cool. She's like getting the door and stuff. I was like looking for this job and they were like, you need to go down and take a test. I'm like, I don't totally don't want to take a test. And they're like, yeah, you need to like take a test for like drugs and whatnot. And I'm like, whoa, why, why do I need to take a test for drugs? I got all you want right here, man. What do you want? See, Wait, that's for right. another job. Not what? You went for no. another job? No, I'm just. <laughs> don't take me seriously. Whoa, there's a hole there. Rap Michaels, we're on a mission. It has all these weird old things here. 
Are you looking? We're here for birdhouse stuff. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. That would have been perfect for Beetlejuice's costume to affix to his ring. Oh my gosh. Did you know that Beetlejuice had a ring? Mm -mm. A red one? There's the skulls. Ooh, yes. Skulls. Look at, look at owls. Owls. Skulls. Mini bird cages. Birdies. Tweet, tweet. Keys and locks. Ooh, like steampunk, like gears. Body parts. I looked over here and I thought that the cupcakes had bats on them. <laughs> I thought those were bats. And then down there I saw those roses and I was like, oh my gosh, those would be so cool for like black roses. I've got Halloween like totally on the brain. Back home and just starting to judge the Home Hunter DVD video collection 2012 haunts. There's a lot of them guys. I haven't counted exactly. But I want to say there's about 66 of them, if I remember correctly from what Chris Davis said. There's a lot of good haunts here. Let me go through and you guys, if you see one, post it in the comments. If you notice one, or if one of them is yours. There we go. This is going to be a long process, but it's going to be really cool also. So I have watched the Second Street Cemetery. Very nice graveyard, I must say. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a category for graveyard. I'm not going to give away any hints as to how I'm voting, so I'm just going to be quiet now. But this is what they look for. They look for best yard haunt and best yard haunt vanguard, best indoor outdoor walkthrough and vanguard, best static prop and vanguard, best animated prop and vanguard, Best Party Haunt, Best Video Production, and Best How To. I'm just about ready to start the ninth uh, haunt. Um, so I think that I'll try to do like a disc a night, and that'll put me at, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll put me at four nights. There are some really good ideas, and I've been writing down ideas also for haunts. But take a look at this. This is what she is doing with her, her tweet tweet house. Tweet tweet tweet. Well, did they see the finished version over here? Yeah, we showed it. Um, I'm not sure if we showed the birdhouse on the side. Everything else we've shown. Let me put the extra moss. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there. And I just added the pumpkin. That looks really good. I'm gonna put a, a little bit of moss on this side. I didn't put anything here so that birds can step on there. This is the front of this one. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> The cornucopia skeleton, little spider web. I already like did the details underneath, and then I went outside and cut some wood there, and I just glued in some moss. <laughs> See, you cut wood too. See, I told you wood is funny. Nothing vlogged all day long. I um, got home and watched some of the the haunt vids so that I could go and. And, 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 and judge more haunt vids. So I'm three quarters of the way through the second disc. And we're just gonna give an update really quickly on Lori Lee's birdhouse. Is it done? Did you say it was done? Both are done. Both are done. See, now, now she's ahead of me. This is the backside. I was thinking maybe I might add a little moss. You said it was done. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I might add a little bit more moss. You said it was done. Stop. <laughs> See. So I just added that. I'd say I added more color in to match the roof. Because JD said, eh, it doesn't match. So I put some more brown in to match the roof. But see, I put like perfect spots for moss to fill in there. And here's the front here. Little skeleton, little spider, little black kitty. Corn cornucopia? Is that something like what they call it? In this side. Your kitty's back there thinking, I can't wait till a bird gets in there. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, probably. Is that right? Oh, she answered me. She's like, uh huh. <laughs> and hey, yeah. hmm. custom bird houses, a lot of work. <laughs> well, this one doesn't have a light in it, obviously. Does it? This is the only one that didn't have one of these. Mm hmm. The reason why I didn't put a solar light in here is because if a bird actually inhabits in here, I'm sure that he doesn't want to sleep in light. <laughs> All the other ones, there's like one partition that's been lit. Hey, what do you want? This dog. 
Yeah, now I can. Now I can. Dog germs. Ew, yeah. gross. Dog germs. Now I got antibacterial in my hands. Uh, Lori Lee still has that T-shirt of um, the Walking Dead T-shirt. Um, uh, last chance if uh, somebody wanted it, so that she doesn't have to go through the process of just returning it. Um, Twenty dollars includes shipping and handling to um, anywhere in the U.S. And it is a girl's large. All right, COC. I just burped, but I like totally like cut it out. COC fuses are fun. Can you pre-order custom birdhouses, and will Phoenix be at West Coast? Phoenix and Lori Lee may or may not be at West Coast. As of right now, I don't know. I will be at West Coast. And it, the, about the birdhouses, what we're going to do is if uh, we bring any back from West Coast, then we will offer them to you guys online. Crazed Hunter 24 Hey everyone, hope you guys' lives are going great. Hope to see some prop build videos soon. Um, you will, most likely. <laughs> I can't say when. Um, right now, I just try to find Halloween in everyday life. Keep things a little upbeat. I mean, I, I, I've got like a crap ton of videos to go through with a Home Haunter DVD. Um, so I'm in the process of judging those right now. And then, you know, other things in life, uh, which I don't vlog. And there's a lot of things going on right now, guys. So I will say that. On a positive note, happy haunting. See you guys next vlog. Ow, I just hit my elbow. I mean, really. Ouch. You want more? Come back for seconds tomorrow. Ah!